What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Rochelle, and I'm back with another video. It's time to jump into this cash. We've already budgeted for paycheck number one for October 2020. Now it's time to spend the money. Let's dive in. Okay, we are back. Here is my update. Let's dive right in. Okay, so paycheck one, we already know how it's going to go. I'm just double checking and making sure that all of my totals are plugged in. My income that I'm that my husband is scheduled to receive is going to total $5,006. The referrals is courtesy of Greenlight Referrals. Donate stays the same. Mortgage, food, mica, cash, phone, Myself and Eva all received a total of $18.79. We're going to stuff that $2.25 in just a minute. I did not put my goals on here. I'll do that in the weekly check-in next week. Emergency fund and kitchen all received a total of $9.17 because we are trying to top off our emergency fund for three months. Mortgage is getting the rest, y'all. $18.60 in addition to the regular $6.40 payment. And all of that equals zero. So we are all set. Let's dive into the money. Okay, so let's dive into these cash envelopes first. Let's count the cash. We should have a total of $225 from our budgeted money, an additional $75 that I pulled from my personal money. And we should have an extra $200 because I wanted to get change. Actually, I wanted to get larger bills for my 52 week challenge. So you'll see a total of 500, let's make sure. 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500. So 52 week challenge. Starting balance was 785. And I'm going to first put the 200 back that I said I would because remember I had a lot of 20s in the last video. So I went and took about 10 20s to equal $200. And so this should equal 785. Let me make sure 1 2 3 4 5 6 50 700 750 and 770, 780, 785. So that's perfect. And we're going to add another $60. So we'll do 320s because the goal is to keep having large bills. And so that'll give us 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 50, 700, 750. And then I always do this. We have 750. Put another 50, <laughs> put the 10 on there. That's 800, 820, 840, 845. Wow. Okay, so let me write that down before I forget because y'all know. So we added 60 and that gave us 845. Wow, nice. We got to fill up our wallet, y'all. So first up, personal we are not adding to zero boom all right groceries had 170 let's see how much we have left groceries we definitely bought some and we only have twenty dollars left so we took a good amount out we'll say we took 150 out and then we are going to add another 40 bucks okay so we're going to add another 40 dollars 20 40 45 50 55 60 dollars so Cerise got the extra 40 and so that will give us a balance of 60 again tips it had 30 dollars in it let's see how much is left 10 bucks miscellaneous it had 20 bucks let's see if there's anything left there's not <laughs> it's empty you 
see that? It's empty. This is this is that realness. Okay, I used money this time. Um, so we withdrew all of it. We're not adding to it. So y'all, it's a lot of zeros here. Look at this. Zero here, zero there. It's okay. So now what we do next is let's check and see if we have any money to donate to the ones and fives challenge. I do see a couple of bills in here. Anytime I make change, I always grab that money. So a little thinner this time, but that's okay. So for the ones and fives challenge, I'll be contributing just $2. So let me grab that money. So my fives, whatever I have is what I have. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 bucks. I'm not adding to it for the first time in a while. It's okay. It's okay. I'm glad I could add to it when I could. So let me switch over to, okay, so the $5 challenge had $60 to start. I'm not adding anything to it or taking anything away. So I'm just going to have $60. I'm focused on bigger things right now. It's okay. All right, now for the ones challenge, oh, $73 is what we started with. We're adding another two. We're not taking away anything. And so now that brings us to 75. So let's see if we have enough to make some, to make a new set, a new bundle. So right now I have sets of 20 so 20 40 60 and then i have this set i'm working with every time it gets to 20 i bundle it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so fifteen so not enough i need five more ones before i can bundle this all up and basically the $1 and $5 challenge just means that you save as many $1 bills and as many $5 bills as you can, and then you get to spend it on whatever you want at the end of the year. So I like challenges like that. And I do have my Adamson bank here just in case I want to, in fact, I'm going to bring it all out now because I know for a fact I'm going to be resizing some money. So this is our money from the bank from payday. And this is our bank. Now travel, I'm going to start in the back. Okay, so first up, let's add to Texas. Because I told y'all, if I leave off this island, my layover is going to be in Texas. I don't want it to be Cali um, because I have family in Texas. So right now I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And we are going to add another $50. So 20, 40, and 50. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50. Okay, so that bumps it up really quick to 150. Texas, it had 100. We didn't take anything out and we added 50. Then next up is Mexico. We're gonna do the same, add $50 to Mexico. 20, 40, 50. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 50. So that's Mexico. Mexico and we added 50 and so now they twinning at $150 and actually travels we have 50 bucks so how about we add 10 to that and so I'm going to take and give myself a 20 so now we have 60 bucks Next up is airports. Airports has 20, 40, 55. Well, I'm just going to add another five then and put this five back. So that'll give me a total of 20 bucks. Wait till I get me some more 20s. I'll be bad boy. So that gives us 20, 40, 60. Airports just got another five. And that is giving me 60 bucks. Next up, uh, next tips. 
Tips is going to get, Tips is getting kind of thick. 20, 40, 50, 60, 75, 80, 85, $86 right now in tips. Now this is something I definitely wanna switch out because if this is for tips, if I'm being honest, I don't need larger bills, right? In my head, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> so off top, look at me. Who am I today with this money upside down like this? Ma'am. Let's pull out 40 bucks and let's put in some tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40. Yeah, I like that. And then what are we gonna add? to it hmm hmm i think i'm gonna add another five and another ten so that'll be another 15 bucks yeah that, that sounds good that sounds good so i'm trying to keep it small 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 85 90 95 101 dollars Ooh, y'all we did it. Am I surprised that tips was the first one to make it over a hundred bucks from out of these categories? No, no, I'm not. Next up is eating out. Eating out has 30. I definitely want to beef this up because yeah, who doesn't eat on vacation? So let's just go ahead off top and take 40 bucks. Cause I know what it is. I know what it is. 20, 40, 60, 70. So we added 40 and that gives us 70. Yep, I like this. Good idea. Okay, we have one, two more sections and we have $30 left to plug in. So excursions, excursions has $50. I like my cotton candy theme I'm going with so far. Excursions has, I said 30, well, 50 bucks, $50. And how much should we add? Um, I'm going to add 20. Yeah, I'm going to add 20. So that'll give us 20, 40, 50, 60, 70 bucks. Because I know us. We are going to want to do an excursion. And although this might not pay for it entirely, this will help put a dent in it. So I'm not worried. And then last but not least, travel miscellaneous it says 20, 30, 35, $40. So let's see. This is travel miscellaneous it has 20, 30, $40. We are going to off top get rid of these fives because miscellaneous, I should always be able to get change. So that's a $10 bill. And then let's go to the Adamson Bank because we need to get one more and swap out these fives. So that will give us a total of 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks. So we added 10 to make 50. So yeah. There's no shame in my game. This this month, I'm going for simple. I really wanted to add more to my travel category because I don't think I got to do it at all hardly in the month of August. Maybe only a little bit went to travel. Well, not this month. This month, we started off strong. And I can't lie, I think I might do it again next check because I'll show you. I'll show you why. But first, let's add this up. Okay, so I added it all up and previously we had $1,429, but now we have $1,691. Okay, so technically these are savings, but I call them sinking funds because I do pull from them every once in a while. So first up is kitchen. Kitchen has a starting balance of $6,246.49. Now we are trying to get this baby up, y'all, to $12,000. So this check we deposited $719. So let's see, $6,249.49 plus 
$6,719.79. So that's giving us a total of $6,968.49. So that's good. That's decent. I'll take it. Then next up is our emergency fund. Emergency fund had $2,208.66. We didn't take anything out. 2208.66. Whoops, plus. And then we're going to add another 198. And that's giving us a total of $2,406.66. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Those are the two we added to this check. Boom. Let's do 10. What is today? I don't even be knowing y'all. 10-1. Today is 10-1 because I'm going to record, edit, and drop this for y'all. Starting balance is 37,000. Oops, that is so wrong. 32,000. That is so wild. I'm not used to our number being this low. <laughs> eight hundred and ninety five dollars and fifty one cents we made the minimum payment of 640 and then we made an extra payment of go back to my paycheck budget 1860 for a total payment of 2500 so our starting balance was 32895 and we took 2500 Y'all, we down to thirty thousand three hundred ninety-five dollars and fifty-one cents. Yes. Oh, our mortgage payment. Oh, our next mortgage payment is going to be under thirty thousand. It's going to push it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Tanisha, for doing the budget takeover and convincing me to do five k this month on my mortgage. I'm halfway there, y'all. Twenty-five hundred dollars. I'm just excited. 30000 $30,000. Y'all, I am so pumped right now. I did not know that our mortgage would be this low this soon in the month of October. It's literally October 1st. And don't forget, this is a, an October budget takeover. So Tanisha decided where my money went this month. And... I must admit, I like it. I love it, okay? And if you want to experience a budget takeover, just hit me up, okay? RochelleAdamson.com and hit that takeover button and you can join the fun too. And the beautiful part is, the beautiful part is, say you let me take over your budget, but you're still a little nervous, like, oh, I don't know if this is for me. I will just hand you the budget and you can decide whether it's something you want to do. So that's it. I am ready i'll be back for a midweek check-in sometime next week just to let you guys know how i'm doing it'll be week one will be in the bag i want to stay accountable i want to keep things tight peace love and budget